Can't beat that. 655 on a Saturday morning. Got three trucks already rolling in. Should be able to get all the stone that I need for my road today. The uh, quarry closes at uh, 12 o'clock, so hopefully we can get uh, five loads a piece. That should be 15 loads. I should be able to get my uh, driveway done, hopefully. came down here and got my uh, last roll of fabric. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use it. I don't know how heavy it is, but uh, yeah, my tire's normally not flat. That's a heavy roll of stuff right there. That's some thick stuff. It's like, uh, it's like a quarter inch thick. Let's go roll it out. Moo moos. Got more trucks coming. Away we go here. Everything seems to be holding up really well where I put fabric down. There's one spot up front where the power line trench was and everything seemed pretty solid and I didn't put any fabric down and guess where it's pumping at? Right there, so I'm just gonna wait and see what it does. All this, I'm not putting any fabric on this. All this is seems to be super hard. And uh, yeah, but up here behind my neighbor's building here, it's pretty spongy where I cleared a bunch of trees out. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this fabric out at least to the curve right here to bridge across this softer material. I need to uh, kick that little pile of dirt out of the way first. Let's let this down so it doesn't fall on top of me, like so. Well, I guess I was right on the uh, on the weight, and that's the dry weight, let alone the stuff that's been sitting out in the rain. 1,070 pounds. So I guess it was heavier than probably 1,000 pounds. Uh, the other roll was pretty wet, 210 feet, 3,100 square feet. I don't know what this stuff is. I think it's like a drainage stuff somebody told me one time it was supposed to go like on a 
foundation because it allows it to drain or something but it really works good for uh, a road base Well, I figured I might as well just finish rolling it out. It's not going to do any good sitting at the back of the farm. Looks like the uh, rats and the squirrels have taken nest in the center of this roll. This stuff really wants to roll up bad, so I got to leave the mini excavator holding it tight until I cover it up with stone. But yeah, that uh, should provide a good solid road base here now. All right, truck should be back here shortly, and I'll have another 60 tons to spread. They've already put out uh, six loads, four up here, and two back here. Road is coming along good. I got at least one more load coming, possibly two. Uh, the rock quarry's closing, but at least I should get everything done to about the back of the Yanmar here with the next load. And I'll stock, if I get another one, I'll stockpile it. I've got to dig out my uh, old culvert pipe. Go ahead and put the new one in. I just haven't had time to do that before. So I may go ahead and get on the mini excavator and start digging this one up and redig my new ditch right through here and go ahead and set that pipe in place right there but uh yeah that's uh 14 yeah 14 truckloads of rock so far today and nine yesterday it's taking a lot of rock but when you're putting it in 10 inches thick there it uh doesn't last very long doesn't go very far and what I'll do for kind of my flood control stuff is come in here with the mini excavator and cut a nice ditch through here now that I know where I got my road at. And installing that bigger pipe will carry a lot more flow under the road than this one right here that, as you can tell, is half of it is higher than the surrounding ground. So kind of, like I said, to control all the runoff and flood water that does come through here, raising the road up, cutting a better ditch through here, and upgrading the culvert pipe should uh, definitely, I don't know if it's going to completely take care of it, but it'll definitely handle it a lot better.
Alright, so you just dumped my last load of stone. I got one there and one here. As you saw, I took out the pipe. Went ahead and scraped back. They've got about 8 or 10 inches of some uh, like asphalt millings right there. So I'm going to scrape this back a little bit more and go ahead and dig the ditch for the new culvert pipe. And that was what I forgot was the uh, pipe dope to go on those gaskets right there. But I'll figure out something. Put some water on there or some grease or something. And uh, go ahead and set this new culvert pipe in here.
Well, 25 truckloads of rock later, I have my cut through road put in. Got the uh, pipe put in as you just saw. And I ran down here with a little excavator, uh, cleaning up the edges. I'm going to take the skid steer now and spread these last two loads of stone over top of the culvert pipe I put in and just kind of dress everything up. I might have been able to lower that pipe down a couple more inches, but it's pretty much about an inch or two higher than the pond. So I really didn't want it down in the down into the water. And I already had to dig this down like a foot or so below grade. But I think it'll be alright. That's that heavy duty gray pipe, so it doesn't have to have a whole lot of cover. And as you noticed, the old pipe was right here. I actually moved this one over when I cleared a pond out. Um, I'm going to end up making it bigger, curving it around through here. So that'll go right here into the edge of the pond then. So let's go ahead and spread some rock out and get this road tidied up. Well, that's going to be a wrap for uh, putting the stone down here. Still got to come in here and backfill all the edges. Uh, I got to clean this ditch out. Like I said, I didn't want to know that I didn't really, really want to dig a ditch until I knew kind of where the road surface was going to be at. So I'll come in here with the mini, clean all that up. Got to get a nice ditch all the way down here to the culvert pipe. Kind of like I did over here, raising the road up, getting some positive drainage away from it. And then all over here, I'll, when I end up digging the pond out, I'll put some dirt up there to backfill it. But for right now, just have the road raised up enough where it'll keep all that water diverted over here. So when we do get a big storm and flood, all that will stay over there, come down each side of the road, and then under the culvert pipe out over here into the pond. That's my plan, hopefully it'll work. I mean, that was, I thought that was 18, but I think it's 15 inch pipe. So this 24 inch pipe probably more than doubled the flow that that would take. And I think it was halfway clogged up anyway. So yeah, this worked out really good. Went ahead and cut a little ditch through here to kind of let that drain a little bit better. And uh, I'll walk up here and show you the rest of the road. Road curves right here to go back over there. I'm gonna end up putting a or rebuilding his fence right here to the corner and around and a little bit more right there just so when cars are coming they're not shining the lights into uh his back door over there but i'll do that another day kind of hide his stuff right there and the road goes all the way up here and ties into the main driveway i'm gonna grab the roller so i got a couple soft spots one was a great big tree stump right there I dug up and then another one was a tree right here. There's fabric under it, but it's still kind of pumpy, but it should dry out pretty good. Let it sit here and rain on it a couple of times and I'll roll it in then. It should seal off pretty good. And then another one up here where the uh, power line and the cable trench, it got a little softer than I was expecting. Of course, I didn't put fabric up here, which I probably should have, but is what it is and uh before uh, charlie comes and gets the 330 i brought the uh big boulder up here and set it right here on the corner to hang the sign on so i got a great big quartz rock that i dug up in the woods a couple years ago figured that'd be a good spot for it right there to hang a sign on pointing that way and this ties into the road right here so end up landscaping this and should make a pretty nice entrance here farm road checked off the list